So let's say we want to integrate log x. Now this is one integral that perhaps you've been wondering about because we haven't ever really talked about just integrating log x by itself. Um, so it seems strange that we would come to it now once we've learnt integration by parts. Strangely, this is an example that uses integration by parts. And the way that it does it, because you might be thinking, well, okay, if it's going to be used by integration by parts, then there must be u and there must be a dv by dx. Okay, so there must be one of those. But all I can see is log x. There's, no, there's not two functions there uh, being multiplied together. So what we do is if I write that as 1 times log x dx, I do now have a product of two functions. So using the late rule, that would say that the log x must be u and the dv by dx must be the 1, the algebra. The, it's like having 1 x to the 0. So I can find du by dx, which is just 1 over x, and v, which is the integral of x, so just x. So log x will integrate to u times v, so x log x, take away the integral of v times du by dx. Well, x times 1 over x is just 1. So this is x log x take away x plus c. And so that is the integral of log x. So that might seem a little bit strange, but that's what integration by parts can allow us to do. It can allow us to integrate log x. And if you differentiate that, okay, you will get back to just log x. Um, so if we try it, just to kind of confirm, so I want to differentiate that. So I'm going to have to differentiate x log x using the product rule. So the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Take away x, so that differentiates to minus 1, plus c differentiates to 0, so that's gone. x times 1 over x is 1, plus log x, take away 1, plus 0, and so that just leaves you with log x as required. So it does differentiate to log x, so log x must integrate to this.